We are two players away from setting up this final table. Yeah, just, it's a pull. And Corey will move all in. Pocket jack. Easy decision. Get a shuttle from the airport, like nothing to worry about. Yeah. Go there, play two tournaments, and leave. But he does make the call with ace three, and it will be the German at risk of elimination here. Give him more than enough to play with the king ten four flop, no help for Keith. Tilston will need one of those aces. Well, he picked up a couple more outs now, a three or an ace. But it is the ten of spades on the river. Corey Aldemar will double up here. Meanwhile, Keith has led from the small blind here, flopping middle pair, but Stevie has top pair in the big blind. And it's a pretty standard bet standard. We see a lot of this limping in from the small blind uh, from these top guys, obviously being very balanced. Yeah, they just want to do it because they want to play as many hands as possible, and you can do that by limping. And well, it did work for Keith because he saw the flop and he flopped a very strong hand in the middle pair. But an awkward spot now facing a raise against Stevie. It's pretty weird board to raise on because there is so few draws. So if you have a good hand, there is not really <coughs> a lot of reason to try to protect it. And you don't have that many bluffs that have a lot of equity. So it's kind of a interesting board to raise on. Well, he does raise. Keith not going anywhere just yet with that second pair. But yeah, as you say, not many draws to put your opponent on here. And one of the few you could put him on just got in there. Yeah. Right. Action back onto the American. He does check it over to Stevie. Right. Action is on Stevie. 700,000 chips in the pot. Stevie being a big bet, 600,000 just under the pot. Yeah, that is, as you say, quite an important card in this pot, even though it doesn't look like it. Yeah. Well, Keith will call once more. Pot rising to 1.9 million. Stevie with two and a half behind. And on the other hand, in a limp pot, you don't have a pair that often on this board, so you can't really start folding pairs that easily. It's a little bit of a weird situation. we've seen the river yet. It looks like the river is another four. And it does go check, check. And Stevie will win this pot at showdown. It looks like Dom is departing. I saw he was on the outer table, but I'm going to shorthand it, guys. But there you go. Confirmation it is Dominic out in 11th. Oh, Bryn with Queen Jack suited in the small blind. Five-handed, very good hand, but obviously out of position. And he does call fairly standard there, right? Standard. Yeah, fairly standard, although nowadays you see a lot, uh, especially in the high rollers, that people don't want to just call from the small blind because you give the big blind a really good prize. So some of the guys just free bet all their hands in the small blind. They want to play. Right, but one of the... Uh, Queen Jack suited one of the hands, probably it's up there in the hands, he does want, doesn't mind playing three way there, yeah, right? Yeah, for sure. Although that's kind of dangerous, if you only play hands that you wouldn't mind playing three way, the other guys will catch on to that. Yeah. And, well, Bryn has flopped a gut shot. Stefan and Stevie both with ace high, Stevie's ace queen high way out in front though. And this is a board that, obviously Stevie will know he's, he's ahead of a fade, he's percent of the time, but Bryn, well, Bryn can obviously have a king, but also yeah. a lot of his hands are going to check call here. But does he still have to bet this because it's three-way and protect his hand? Um, I think he can do whatever. I like a small bet because people will have to play really honest against this. So everyone's hands will be fairly face-up after this bet. And if you think they will call enough worse hands, you can just check it down after this. And you still make a f few better, a um, few hands that have two cards that can hit fold and right. the apparently you can, you can get called by Queen Eye as well so yeah he does get called by the gut shot which misses Stefan folded his ace high and 
TV now with another decision. See, there are a lot of, as you're saying, you know, Bryn does have a lot of kings in this spot. So if Bryn were to put up a bet here, Immer noch imagine so he will. Zwei, drei, Dom ist rausgeflogen. Not a great spot for Stevie. I just want to say, I think if he bets, he should go quite big here because he either has like a really strong hand, like top pair or better, or a missed hand like Queen Jack check down. Steven doesn't have the best hand to call here with because he has the queen. Right, blocks some of the hands he wants his opponents to have, which he's saying. A hand like Queen Jack with a backdoor flush draw, yeah. Queen Jack of Diamonds no longer possible. Yeah. As Sander pointed out, 45 seconds in this event. I think purely because the event was scheduled not to have a shot clock, but then the guys wanted it and it was a compromise. So they give them 45 seconds. I think it's really much more fun. Oh, wow. Well, he does make the call and he will receive the good news. Ace Queen being the Queen High of Bryn Kenny. What a beast. Decision right so far. You get to watch the best doing what they do, and you get money for doing it. Pretty incredible. Well, Keith raises the button with his nines. Stevie putting a lot of pressure on him with the ace-queen from the small. Oh, wow. And, well, Corey, real decision here. 23 big blinds and eight in the big. going to be very hard for him to do anything but jam here, right? I do think he's going to get eight in. There we go. It's in there. Now, Keith is in a interesting... <laughs> Spot. It's quite a tough decision because it's so close to the money and you're gonna jam in the other big stack, so that's always quite scary. Yeah, we're putting in like 50 oh. bigs effective, but he does move all in. And, well, Stevie went straight for a chip there, which would make Keith feel a bit <laughs> sick. <laughs> but the fact you haven't been snapped is great news when you have nines in this spot. Yeah. Jacks and better just for sure in. Ace Queen Sid is really. Really, really tough decision. But with the uh, yeah, yeah. ICM considerations, really, yeah, yeah. it just folds. He's got a comfortable stack, and we are getting close to the money. Into the turn, and the five of diamonds on the river. No good for Corey. He will leave us. Keith further increases his chip lead on this feature table as we lose the German in 10th place. And there's really not many Germans left. <laughs> no. <laughs> should, we go, should we go find some? For a couple <laughs> more into the mix. Give them a rebuy or something. I guess so. It seems the most fair, right? It's, it's just not a high roller. Look at that. Eliminated. Did not cash. A little, <laughs> bit, of, a little bit of a needle there. Five of uh, the secret's out. He's a knit. He followed the five of diamonds from <laughs> under the gun. These guys will go after him now. <laughs> well, look at this. Bryn with the aces yet again in this tournament. Probably his favorite hand. Yeah, I'd imagine so. Worked out well yesterday for him. And well, oh. terrible news for Makita. He has ace king. Well, he's obviously oh. just deciding. Well, he does go all in again. Perhaps the, uh, the ICM considerations. He yeah. like, doesn't actually want to get jammed on by bluffs. And I think there's a snap call in a while. And well, he's desperate there, ace king. But he's not dead yet. He has the diamonds, and diamonds are a man's best friend, right? <laughs> and like diamonds are all over this set. <laughs> Party poker logo. I mean, this is a good sign. The good thing is Mikita is not busting because he has 75k more, I think. Yeah, I'm trying to think. They're very close in chips. I think maybe Bryn has slightly more, but we'll see. Queen 4-3, the flop. Well, Mikita. And the turn is a five, Ooh. so yeah, he does have a gut shot for the chop. That's, that's one of the backdoor straights. And no, the river a brick. GG, Makita. Makita will main, depart ninth place. First man out on our final table. Well, look at that. I didn't even realize the ace on the river. <laughs> just, just the rub down. If you had been up against Kings, you would have got there, mate. <laughs> is that picture time or? That is indeed picture time. We won't be going anywhere, though. It'll only take them a couple of minutes. These guys are all. All hands at that. Right, Taking so many a final, uh, final table picture. He's going to play a big hand now. Yeah, well, Jean Noel, no messing about. He comes in for a three bit with his ace screen suited. 540,000 <laughs> is the bet. 
It's quite a small three bet for out better. of position. It's three times the original that race. That was a man with an ace and a king. Hmm? I said that was a man with an ace and a king. Ooh, nope. Yeah, so Keith great is not folding. So long, and I have time to make up my move. <laughs> he is pulling out chips. Fades. Problem is, uh, if you I just call, Sean can even if he has like Ace Five suited, he can still hit a good hand on the flop. Where if he just is forced to fold, he's forced to fold. He can't make a better hand anymore. Denying equity. Yeah. And Did you just and say call? It's a snap call there for Jean Noel. And the, obviously, these two are playing this big pot. The other six players on the table are loving this situation, yeah. right? It could, could create a short stack here. So we see Keith does cover Jean Noel. So if Keith eliminated. Nothing. Five seconds. Five seconds. Oh, well, King, Queen, oh, Deuce is the flop. That is a disaster for Keith. Two overcards to his pair of jacks. Yeah. Jean hitting the front here. I don't think. And Jean oh. just moves it all in. I don't think he'll find the call here. <laughs> Feels really bad, but you just you just can't start calling here. Just fold. So Jean Noel picks that one up. <laughs> <laughs> Quite sick that he just rips it in here. I do yeah, think yeah, he he only gets called by a better hand, but yeah, maybe not the <laughs> ultimate way to play that hand. But it worked out this time. Yep. John three bets the ace queen, calls the full bet, now he gets the ace king against the same play, just flats. <laughs> That's what makes him so tricky, right? You just never quite know what he's up to. Yeah. And he lets Stevie into the pot with his eight six suited. Queen of diamonds in the window, along with a three of diamonds and an ace. Keith flopping top pair and an up flush door. Jean Noel, top pair, top kicker. This could be more fireworks perhaps between these two. Especially right now, I think Ace-8 of Diamonds is a very good hand to check. Because if you go for value, you can get maximum one treat of the worst hand. And it's nice to have some flesh for us when you check. And well, checks it round to John O'Hers, of course, going to bet top pair, top kicker. That makes a lot of sense. And of course, we can see if a diamond were to come off, John O'Hers would himself have the king high flush draw. Yeah. So even a diamond might not slow the Frenchman down. 1.2 in the pot, and well, a queen. That might slow some people down. Yeah, not a good card, given that Keith check called the flop. Three, two, one. I love it. Check and Keith, of course, knows John <laughs> likes to bet, and well, there you go. <laughs> Stop check, 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 check. With it is a four. I think against Sean, you just want to check because he might just blast off with a random hand. So I don't think he... Wow! <laughs> well, he checks back, and Keith will be shocked to find out he doesn't win that pot against the check back, right? <laughs> uh, they will be looking at the 1.75 up top. Stefan has aces here. <laughs> he does cool. It's the shortest stack. Well, a 10-9-4 flop. He isn't too afraid of check races. He can just get it in with this stack. Mm. Turbo fold from Bryn. <laughs> Labor of love. Impossible that they do their job well as well. Yeah. Well, look at this. Back to back, the same two aces as well. Club <laughs> and diamond. It's rigged. Did he give them back? Maybe this is how the, the Germans always win. <laughs> they just keep their aces. This is it. Finally found it out. Keith will defend Deuce four suited. Purely because it's diamonds, otherwise he probably wouldn't play. <laughs> <laughs> and Stefan looks back again at his aces. Have I, have I really got them again? And well, Queen 9 5. Again, expect this to go check, bet, fold. Maybe Keith. He does have a vector straight around the flash draw, but. Yeah, this will look stupid in the stream. <laughs> <laughs> back to back. Ooh, wow. Second one. Back to back? Wow. I'm in a really tight fold last mm -hmm. hand, too. Well, not really I tight. Saw, I saw, I <laughs> saw. I'm gonna get your ass. Told you I'm not light, just to make sure that you know. Just, just two times aces and what can I do? That's true. But yeah, on the stream, it was, it was funny. Not yeah. just aces back to back, but it was the same oh, two back aces. Back to back ace, ace. That's fun. Look at that. 
the trophy here for this 100k nope. super high roller. No bracelets, but I guess you could get your arm through that and <laughs> be a bit right. clunky. <laughs> I think it's a bit heavy for that. A little, a little heavy. This one is quite interesting. In general, you like to be flatting this hand, but it, this time it's the lesser, the one not pro in hand, and you won't try to isolate it. Right, and also, these guys will know how wide Jean opens. You know, yeah. quite often you see non-pros in these games, they just play very tight, but Jean's the other way. He yeah. likes to play hands. And well, he hits a five in the door. You see Bryn with a gut shot, and Jean with just ace high, but that doesn't usually slow him down. Ah. Oh. <laughs> 335. Bet just over a third of the pot. Okay. Because he bets so many flops, so many checks. <laughs> wow, we're just giving him like... <laughs> well, he does, uh, as we see, have nothing. gives it up. So Jake does it cool. Of course, the king will see some action. Wow, a five. That's Jake was choosing cards in his head to see on the turn. That's definitely one of them. He checks it over to Bryn. I um, don't think Bryn will be betting here this much because he can't have any fives, fives himself because he doesn't flat many hands with a five in it. He just checks it and Bryn takes the bait. Bryn does indeed far again. I guess maybe he's trying to put pressure on a nine or even a, a weaker jack. Yeah, well, Jake will call. Cool. And of course, Jake is the chip leader, so perhaps the worst player to try and be pushing around on this bubble. And I think he's going to barrel this river as well. Because <laughs> if you get to this river with a hand that is nothing yet, it's quite tough because Queen 10 makes a straight now. So as you say, obviously we can see Jake has such a strong hand as uh, as King Five. Yeah, but Jake. Jake is just snap calling, I guess. Yeah, I'm trying to decide. I'm gonna probably stick around. He does for a cool. You yeah, see King High. He takes down a big pot here, further advancing his chip lead. And Bryn, well, down to 25 bigs now. Um, there you go, Jake. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> well, he gets he gets the pot and his espresso. It's nice to actually like have a, obviously keep favorite. and Jason next to have a chat away. Yeah. Heavy favorite to win the 100 meter in state championships in high school and I full started. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently can't <laughs> cope with the pressure. Yeah. Again, his competitive juices come out at poker. Well, Stevie, I think King 4 3 is a good flop for his sevens, but fortunately for him, Keith has got a king. Does of course cool with top pair. Turn it's ten. Poker for sure. I actually never really enjoyed track. I enjoyed it in high school because I was like dominant, but in college I wasn't dominant. I was like good but not great. So it was just kind of annoying. Like you were captain. Yeah. Like even division two, I wasn't great. For I Stephen, like, it's quite interesting now if he wants to check her back. times, I, I was like. Just about just to break into top back. in the country. I was like, never. I would have never been on the podium. River in five. And this was division two, so I'd been like 160th division one. It's actually almost had like yeah. a rock stardom to he it. He pretty much he just always has been. And, and I was like, still I quite tough this. for Stephen because yeah, Keith exactly. can know all of his ace highs. Uh, he calls on the flop yeah, and was, his queen jacks. Really cool he can still element. bluff those on this river. Then I went to states. It's the fastest track in the state. You always run your personal record on this track. On Stevie. In college, you get two. In high school, for some reason, they just crush kids' dreams. And if you slip out of the block, you're done, disqualified. It was so sick. I didn't even get to run it. I like. And Jason's still head, talking. My eyes out. <laughs> yeah. I was so jacked. I was going to try to break Division experience. I mean, I'm, I like hearing this kind of stuff. Because Jason's such a nice guy. And, uh, and I was in the four seed in the 200. And I was so fucking raging. I went out to 200 and just crushed everyone. <laughs> One state's in the 200. I was raging. Yeah, yeah, I was raging. Oh, wow. Oh, look at yeah. this. Stevie I, like, using the blockers, the perhaps. And, like, didn't even look at anybody. I just like, put all my I was up, listening and, like, a bit too much to <laughs> the stories of Jason to think much about this hand. But that makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Quite incredible call if he does make it. Yeah. I thought Stevie's made a very powerful play here. For sure. Especially, there, as I say, obviously, it will weigh on Keith's mind. Stevie won't want to be busting out as close to the money. 
Maybe feels it makes it less likely Steve will bluff. Uh, on the flip side, you maybe think Steve's such a sicko, it's more likely he'll bluff because yeah. of the ICM considerations. Actually, you might not want to have the 6 in your hand in this spot because well, no, like Stephen is going to bluff 7s and 6s like like and he doesn't have 7s, 6 himself like usually. Kind of like no. Stevie does get that one through. Here, ace-queen on the button against Eric's opposition rose. I think he uh, just comes in for a call here. Yeah. Makes some sense. He has good timing, free betting when he is ahead and flooding when he's behind. <laughs> Jason with ace check here. It's one of the prime candidates to use as a squeeze here. I don't think he has much choice no one except for squeezing this one up. No really and sizing wise, uh, one horse by like you one don't want to. Explain it to us. Yeah. I would say you don't want to incentivize too many flats. So I would have expected a little bit bigger, but. He has gone for 900. Wow. Started the hand with four to six big blinds. He, of course, knows Jason capable of this move. This is disrespectful, my friend. It does decide to flap. Maybe thinking, you know, Ace King Suits doesn't play. It's quite easy to play post flop, right? Yeah. This is and Keith is in a weird spot now. <laughs> well, yeah. Because. Well, he doesn't expect, I guess, Eric to flat Ace King too often. Yeah. Right? Oh, wow. wow. Powerful there. That's really strong. Again, maybe a situational. Eight left, six paid here. 240,000 for six. Nothing if you come seventh or eight. Just not willing to bust. And well, <laughs> it'd be sick to see the queen seven deuce flop. Probably for flats here. King, queen, and queen, jack suitors. And he has the jack of the same suit as the queen, so he blocks less of the queen, jack suitors. Right. It's probably the reason why he checks it. Does go check, check, turns a four. And you probably check queens and sometimes aces on this swap. So you still can represent some hands, but. 1 million 100. Mm. Does go half pot. Jason thinks the same way. He gets the snap fold, I guess. Does indeed. Mm. Jason makes the better hand fold. <laughs> really yeah. nice spot, picking up a big pot here. Well, Jean Noel out of line once more. King three off suit from the cutoff. He does have Stevie dominated. Stevie will peel from the big with 8 3. And heads up to this flop. No, well, 7 9 10. Stevie makes an open straight draw. Pretty good flop. Turbo Christine. checks, turn spade, so Stevie now has a flush draw to go with his straight draw. And with just a high. Makes a lot of sense to check this hand again because Sean is going to check a lot of ace highs. So with the bet you're just not going to get that many faults. But on the other hand you have so much equity anyway. Right. That it can't be too bad to just go for it. And obviously a small bet may be a block against someone like Jean who's obviously bet sizing is you know, not that predictable. Yeah. Hate to check and face like a 90% pop bet here from John. You see Christopher Vogel saying just on the left there also. Playing, oh, look at this. Oh, I, think he's, I think he's just having some fun. I think he's. He's going to rep the ace. Yeah? He's just going to do it. There yes, we go. Yes. <laughs> Come on, John. <laughs> Little does he know he has the best hand. Steven isn't folding, though. Yeah. So it's quite odd that he's now raised the turn. He's the kind of player who would, who would bet if he had a hand like a7 on the flop. We've but seen John bet in this situation before, so... But then again, he might just trap his sets because he's bluffing so many hands. Like his checks probably probably are pretty strong. No. Not Stevie this does call this big draw. The river is an off-suit deuce. See, Jean gives up and we'll win the pot with King Hyde. <laughs> Wait to see his face. Eight high. <laughs> Look at Stevie's face. <laughs> <laughs> Go on, John. <laughs> he just had a soul reap. Value yeah. raise the king high. <laughs> Bryn giggling away. <laughs> well, all the players laughing at that one. <laughs> Christian going through the players' stacks with them all. Everyone knows where everyone's at. Meanwhile, Stefan. 
on the button with Ace King. He's going to raise this one up. And you were just saying, it's going to be a position where no one can fold Ace King. <laughs> well, and looks like it might be better to find out. Wow. I guess Stephen is just jamming this. I don't see. Yeah, he's not going to want to induce at this stage, is he? Yeah. And he doesn't want to just call or fold, so. <laughs> Bring a race to 3 million. Just to call 3 million. So, just as you said, yeah. these two off to the races. Stefan looking a bit dejected to find out he was in a flip. Hoping maybe he dominated his opponent. I'm the all in guy. Yeah, all in. Stefan pointing the deal. It's him who is all in. He will need to hit an ace or a king to survive. Otherwise, we might just have a super high roll of fun on the table without a German. Yeah, jam, right number, like <laughs> He's asking what would happen if I open jammed. Uh, yeah, like 2017 TV. 2017 TV. <laughs> More card came. Yeah, yeah, that. We'll figure oh, out. No, 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 no. 2017 TV. <laughs> Middle ground is 100. And 2017 Stefan. Let's go. <laughs> there we go. That's what you need the combo. But yeah. 2018 so far has been a like year right of Stevie. And drawing to a wheel. But here comes the flop. 10, 10, 9. <laughs> well, there you go. Not a sweat at all. This one over instantly. Just the quads. And Stefan. <laughs> Stefan will leave us in eighth place. I don't have much trouble with that. <laughs> you also have too much pressure. Look at this smiling. Uh, <laughs> bet the odds, the uh, actual odds, tens against Ace King. We made a monetary bet. I, I had your tens, he had the Ace King. So nice work. Put a little money, money in my pocket. <laughs> oh, he was just feeling the Ace King. Look at that odds. And it's kind of hard to take. It's kind of hard to pick a bet against Goose all in. That's better about at least like ten years. We did, yeah. <laughs> Jason now under the gun, a bit out of line with the Jack-7 suited. He's thinking if Jake isn't opening, I'll just do it all the time. There we go. Jean-Noel wants to play. Three bet, ace-queen. Have some of that. He's got the min. Yeah, the click back. The old click. I love it. He's going to get a call. For sure, Jason with Jack-7 suited. I mean, it's going to be one of the worst hands he's opened up from first position, but for 250 more. It's just not folding. You can flop a straight flush with it. There we go. If he did, I'm pretty sure he'd get action. <laughs> yes. And, well, <laughs> not too far away. Flopping a gut shot straight draw and flush draw. Seven. Checks it to Jean, who instantly announced 700,000. And also, of course... This is the first time we've seen John Noel do something like this. Like Jason's opened under the gun and two seats down. John Noel puts a small three bet yeah. out. It's not, he's played a lot of hands, but this is definitely a different line for him. Yeah. And well, what a turn card here. Jason makes the best hand, but John Noel now has a double gut shot draw. Makes a lot of sense for Jason to just call on the flop. <laughs> Look at this. John fires again, 1.4 million. He's quite unlucky that Jason flopped this well because, yeah. And will he get forced to fold that jack? I don't know how crazy he thinks John Noel is. Yeah, like I say, this is a. This is, the problem he has here is John Noel is the kind of guy who take this line with aces as well. You know? yeah. So it's when most of these guys might not play one pair. That's, well, look at that. Wow. Straight against straight. Well, wow. 4.3 million back in John Noel's stack. Jason just covers him. 5.5 million in the pot. It's gone Wait. check, check. Wait, what? I'm not sure. If Jean realised he made a straight there. Yeah, he did because he snapped well, showed right, his hand. He did show his hand, so. Wow. 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 Well, we See, J Wow. Jason obviously felt certain he won the pot when it went check, check. Yeah. With the effective nuts. You really see that. Um. Eric is starting up folding a7 suited. Yeah, well, Keith in the small blind here. Just limps in. 
Could he have jammed here? That stack? Um, it's 25 picks, right? Yeah. I think it's a little bit loose. <laughs> oh, wow. Well, speaking of <laughs> Keith just slumps in his chair. Keith is like, just raise and I jam it in your face. Yeah. And Jason just rips it. 25 picks. Putting a lot of pressure wow. on him on the bubble. I don't think he can call. If you know that Jason starts doing this, then you should rip it. Yeah. <laughs> but you don't really expect people to jam. Wow! He has made the call. Jason will get unbelievable oh, yeah. news to find out he's in a flip. And the rest of the players absolutely delighted to see this. The rest of the table cheering for a king or a seven. And ace, eight, nine. All good so far for Keith. Turn. There's a seven. Seven on the turn. Jason takes the lead. Keith, though, does have an open-ended straight draw. And the river and eight. Unbelievable. Keith made a very brave call there. Limp calling his stack off. And, well, Jason, very fortuitous to win that pot with the king seven off. But it has broken our bubble. Wow. That was the most savage call. That is, that is a, you know... That is, a, that is a call by a man who wants to win the tournament. He's not bothered about coming six for 240 grand. Yep. <laughs> I'm a little bit stunned by that. I'm with you there. And I'll tell you, what, Bryn and Eric are delighted to see that. Yeah, it's mine. This helps the bubble go on quite a bit quicker. Yeah, I, I thought we had a long time. <laughs> That's the reaction I expected him. Eric with a head Snake. stretch. Shoved on by the only man he covers. Next pay jump is worth 100,000 euros. 340 for fifth. It's a really close decision. Suited. I don't. Yeah. Well, he does call. It's Bryn Kenny at risk of elimination, but he does have the best hand, Eric Seidel. Well, you're looking good so far, Daniel. If you are watching, ace, eight, five, two diamond flop. Eric does have backdoor diamonds. Three on the turn, though, leaving him. Looking to find just one of those three remaining kings. And the river six, Bryn Kenny will double up. Yeah, well, Eric surely going to give this one a spin. For sure. Too short to do anything else. Ace, five suited. Fortunately for him, find out he's going to be in bad shape. There we go. Oh, man, I'm definitely winning here all day. <laughs> Jack nine spades. <laughs> Eric will need a five then or clubs or else he will be the first man limiting the money. Right. Well, he does pick up a gut shot draw, four or a five. He will be eliminated in sixth place. Well, turn, no use to him. No split chances he here. Green has turned top pair. Only a four will do it. Uh, ace, no good. No, you make the tournament with top pair. Yeah, Bryn makes aces up. Hey guys, here with Eric Seidel, our sixth place finisher. You're taking home 240,000, but understandably upset. Yeah, I mean, you know, I was pretty low all day, so I'm happy to cash. But obviously, you hope things go well and. And what are your thoughts, Eric, on the other opponents that joined you at this final table? Oh, it's a super tough lineup. I mean, these guys are, you know, all the best players in the world. So uh, should be a fun one to watch. Well, Eric, you're a legend. So sad to see you go. And, of course, looking forward to seeing you in our main event. All right. I'm looking forward to playing it. Thanks so much, Eric. Sure. Back to you guys. John has a king. <laughs> it's more than enough. Might be the best hand. Hi, cool. And well, it's the best hand now. King, eight, three, all diamonds. But Jake does have the all important nut flush draw. It does feel like there's a lot of diamonds today. Yeah. I mean, look at the, look at the background of the set. It's all diamonds. What? Is it diamonds? And what's your favorite suit? Everyone's got a favorite suit. Mine, mine is diamonds. I wow, love diamonds. Go. Five hundred fifty thousand bet from Jake. 
Of course, Jean. Well, I was going to say, of course, Jean will call, but you never know with Jean. Maybe he'll raise. Yep. But sure enough. <laughs> <laughs> All we know is Jake is not folding. Yeah. Maybe we should <laughs> say that about Jean as well. Well, interesting spot here for Jake, right? He knows, he knows Jean does make some sort of raise with the hands like yeah. this, and most players wouldn't. So it does give him perhaps an option of a three bet on this flop, right? Yes. I mean, a standard would be to call. Yes. But if you three bet and he jams, you can't really fold anymore, and you don't really just want to get it in. Well, that's you a pretty good turn card for him. You call, just call want and diamond to be. <laughs> just call and turn the nuts. Yeah. And then now what does he do? Against. I mean, he would have seen the hand earlier. Obviously, we've, we've got the showdown with Jean with the king three. He would have known about the ace queen check raise and yep. barrel off. So maybe he'll just check this one. Or maybe a really small lead. He does check. John will quickly check back. And well, River, another king. John beating basically everything bar that flush now. Not too worried about a bigger king being out there. Looks like you're right. One right. million the bet. Oh, 800,000 the bet. Sorry. And John quickly calls. Seems the most, seems a very logical way of doing this. Gets paid off. Gives the king oh. no option to fold in that yeah. sizing. He doesn't have to. How much? <laughs> 800. 800. He doesn't have to show any cards. <laughs> Dealer enforcing the own show one, show all cards. They yeah, right. <laughs> this, this king. <laughs> Oh, sorry, yep, yep. Yeah, he does defend. It's also one of the trends. It's been going on now for a while, but a few yeah. years ago, if you saw someone defend with 10 8 off, you would think he's a really, really bad player. Yeah. Well, Stevie has flopped top pair. Jason, back door, not flush draw. Backdoor wheel draw. And the well, backdoor steel wheel draw. <laughs> Make the straight flush. And well, Jason electing to bet this ace high. And quite big. Yeah, 600,000. I guess if you are going to bet this flop, you yeah, there's a bluff. You kind of need to bet quite big, right? Because Stevie's going to have so many hands he can continue with on this board. For sure. The, especially lower flops in general, you want to bet higher because you have a top pair really don't mind the fault now, where if it's a king or an ace high board, the top pair doesn't really need to be protected that much. Still pot bets, you don't see that often on flops. No, nope. and Steven does... Cool, and now improves not open a straight draw to go with his top pair. Makes a lot of sense for Jason to just give up now. Doesn't have right. any, none of his back doors came. Yeah. Doesn't have any equity. And obviously, there's one that, like a 9 10 jack, probably the worst three cards for him, right? Yeah, and he has some of those cards as well, so those are way better hands to bluff, so yes. Like. Yeah. I am wrong. <laughs> Well, he does bet. It's really like 500, small. yeah. Jason won't call this bet. You mm -hmm. never, never, never rule out a raise. It's quite tough because. Oh, because yeah, because he would have because the turn card's so good for Stevie, right? He's likely to have. Wow! wow. Here we go. Well, exactly what we were just saying. Because the turn card it's is a card that Stevie is likely to continue on. If Jason had a strong hand, he most yeah. likely would bet the turn card, right? Yeah, but. Well, this is a fascinating bet, but because. Wow. He's repping so thin. Does, does Stevie think, well, Jason's such a good player. Is he really going to rep this thin and not have it? Yeah. And he oh, calls. Wow. He jams. He just rips it. Wow. That's also an option. Wow. The ten of hearts in his hand. He just rips it over the top of Jason. Incredible. It's like maybe he revered some weird two pair or a set and he can't call with that. So I just rip it in there. Wow. You know, go from like nice air in Japan, like especially in the mountains, to come to this bullshit. It's actually quite a Gross. interesting decision here for Steven. Yeah. yeah. Against the other chip lead up. 
Only player covers him at the table, decides to flat with a6 from the small. Bryn will come in with king five in the same suit from the big. That's the hand Stephen really wanted Bryn to have. <laughs> yeah. King X of hearts. Potential for a cold deck. Yep. It's fun to see these guys. Wow. wow. <laughs> Jake, top pair. Bryn, top pair with a flush draw. Stevie with the nut flush draw. Surely we're going to see some fireworks here. Well, you would imagine Jake bet this Stevie call and Bryn over call, right? Yes. That that's the first thing that can, would come to mind for me. But I wouldn't be shocked if Bryn just gets it in because he doesn't have that much, right? He has six million. What about is eight hundred thousand? to Stevie. And a flop that should hit Stevie fairly often, right? He scored up a small one against the other chip leader. Um, yeah, he, he should have some. He just experience. really, o he really often has one pair. Yeah, like really often, but also like all the pairs he flats, okay. which I don't think he calls on this flop against this sizing. He does have king queen as well, king jack suited, king ten suited, queen jack queen ten. It'd be interesting if he had jam there. Yeah, I don't think you ever want to jam. Well, the stacks are just, yeah, the stacks are a little bit too awkward to do anything else. Well, that is the action killer in the deck. Yeah. Well, let's try to get that chip back. 1.1. Well, is this a case where <laughs> you'd imagine Bryn will call with his king in the posture here? And then Jake's in. I'm happy I got one action right. <laughs> Pretty important <laughs> one. Always feels good. Oh. What? Wow. Wow, what a huge fold from Bryn. King and a flush draw. <coughs> How has he folded that hand? I'm in shock. I'm in complete, utter shock. Well, against the two hands up against, it was a genius fold. Better king and a better flush draw. And now these two playing out the biggest pot we've seen in a while. 5.8 million chips. River is a 10. Stevie with just ace high. Overbet here, and Jake never has an easy decision unless he has freeze. Well, he's reaching. 4.5 million the bet. It's the big bet. And now it's good luck, Jake. Wait, Jake bet pot on the flop, right? I bet 800,000, I believe in it was. Like into yeah, it was, a, it was about 1.2 in the middle, I think. Yeah. Wow. wow, Stevie, four, 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 getting that one through. This is a masterclass from him. That was really well played. That was really well played. Yeah. <laughs> Jake's still not sure about that hand. Boy, have a chance to have another go at Stevie here with Ace Queen. He will call. I really think it's quite interesting hand. And I really think it's really mm -hmm. tough to fold uh, Ace King there. Well, it, it makes sense because Stephen just yeah. has a bunch of Queen X, but yeah, well, yeah, you just don't call that many hands anymore than if you fold it. Well, Jake looks like he might get some chips back here. Stevie has flopped the top pair. Jake has him out kicked. Although the way Stevie's running, he does have the Ace of Clubs in his hand. Turn a club and he just barrels it off as a bluff, right? <laughs> Because that where he's at turns every hand into a bluff. Normally, if I would recommend the call here, but I <laughs> it feels like Jake is just wants to raise it. Well, he does just call. Yeah, these guys will head to the turn. Stevie needing help. Well, nine of diamonds is not help. And given that last hand, the Stevie uh, bets with a slightly higher frequency here value than he would yeah. normally, right? He knows Jake's maybe stewing over that one. Uh, Jake still has a bunch of King X he can call, but yes. soup-wise, it's the worst Ace-8 to bet. Because <laughs> yeah. this is the Ace-8, you have to protect the least because you already have a diamond in your hand. Well, look at this. Both players make trip aces on the river. Ooh. 
would be a funny river to just check race if you're Jake. <laughs> I was just thinking that. I think the hand is strong enough to do it. Oh, it looks like he's just going to go for the big bet. Yeah. And Stevie will just snap this, right? Usually, yeah. He calls and gets the bad news. Well, it could have lost a lot more in that pot. That's a decent hand. <laughs> There's worse hands to find in the small blind, especially against John. And well, oh, wow. here we go. John finds ace queen. Look at this, <laughs> just flats. Completely randomized this guy. He's trapping the ace queen high. And oh. wow, <laughs> ace nine deuce. Good thing for Jake that he did just flat. I'll limit his losses here. Poor Jean should have doubled this hand. Oh, he checks back the flop as well. <laughs> Getting sneaky. Jack on the turn. Ooh. I would really expect a jack with kings there. A uh, bet with kings. Well, Jean bets 600,000 on this turn. It's pretty clear that Jake's going to have to call this one. Yeah. Still don't really understand why he doesn't bet turn. Because Sean has shown the willingness to call with any pair at any time. Yeah, I'm with you there. Maybe picked up on something. River's yeah, five. Could be. Right in there and he quickly checks it on over. Six. And when Sean's gone small, Jake surely has to call this one. Yeah. Oh, wait. I think yeah. Jake is actually quite happy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is That's against like anyone in the tournament who would have lost more. Could e yeah, well, not only that, could easily have just gone in pre-flop. Yeah. But even post-flop, yeah, you think uh, John could easily have got three streets there. Well, two bigger well, ones. Yeah. The last one was really small. You're quite right. Maybe not three streets, but... Kind of steady. Still looks better than any one of the rest. Yeah. Let's slow down a little bit, though. Yeah. Can't bluff every pot. It's not like he has been playing an insane amount of hands. The hands he has played, he just plays really, really well. Yeah. It's usually the I best mean, way to do it. Well, <laughs> it is obviously worth noting that Jason has very few hands he could have caught there. But that, that's the nut card to have. Well, look at this flop. This looks like it could be trouble for Bryn. He has flopped an open-ended straight draw. Jake, a set. 10-5-6 rainbow board. Yeah, this is... I can see this going in. <laughs> yeah, well, Bryn has bet. Jake with a couple of options here, right? Check call or, or check raise. He has got both options, but middle set is like the most fun hand to race with. Oh. There's a handful of chips going in. Uh, is a raise. Question for Bryn now. Well, quite a big raise as well. Up to 1.2 million. Yeah. What does Bryn do now? He has two options. Is it a bit annoying? I was saying 7 8, you do block perhaps some of the hands Jake would check for sure. He has gone all in, and That's Jake, I'm sure, ball. will snap. And so it is Bryn at risk here of finishing in fifth place. He has 7 8 against the set of Jake. We'll need a 4 or 9, and of course also avoid the board pairing. Well, the turn is the ace of clubs. Well, at least he's drawing live going through it. Four or nine, or Bryn will be the next man out. And well, <laughs> the second time today we've seen quads man, to eliminate a player. And it is Bryn Kenny who leaves in fifth place, collecting 340,000 euros for his efforts. A uh, bit of a Bit of a setup there for him. Yeah, nothing he can really do. Hey, guy. He fit guy, it's this. And now it's 400 and it's Europe against America. <laughs> it is. Fair fight, a long last. And actually, it's fair in chips as well. Maybe with Stevie about, I don't think it's that fair. <laughs> 
pretty nice payday for you, sir. 340,000 euros. Obviously, I know you wanted that title, but uh, again, I just love your perspective. Could always be worse. Yeah, exactly. Whatever. All you could be upset in poker is if you play poorly. I was short stack. I think I played really well, so whatever. That's the game. Happens. Yeah, and I, I love that I asked you if you were <laughs> jumping into the main event tomorrow. I know late registration closes up here in a little bit, and you said absolutely not today because tomorrow you have a dinner reservation that you're not moving. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I have dinner reservation at 8.30, so it's a horrible timing for tomorrow. <laughs> so hopefully I bag today and don't have the problem. I would hope that I could buy in day two, but since you can't hear, I would skip the whole day tomorrow just to buy in day two. So I don't really care about these. Think about tournaments like this. Yeah. <laughs> well, Bryn, I just I have to say I love the spirits you're in. Wishing you the best of luck for our main event. I'll let you go ahead and register for that now. Cool. Thank you. Thank you so much, Bryn. Back yeah, to you guys. Well, thanks, Marinella. Thanks, Bryn. Interesting there. Dinner comes before the main event. Actually, quite sure he can jump in in the flight day one B now. Well, yeah, he has a couple of options. Whether he can play the early one now. Thanks. fact, Jean Noel has gone one better than the 50k where he finished fifth. We've got 210,000. That was yesterday. Now guaranteed half a million. So a fantastic week so far for him. But he, like these other guys, will be gunning for the 1.75 million euro first prize. Well, the 668 flop. Jason has flopped a gut shot. And he will, of course, bet that draw, having been the pre flop raiser. And well, Jake will give up his Jack Kai. John perhaps not quite really just yet to fold his ace high. He does indeed check call. Well, turn another eight. Strengthening John's ace high. <laughs> he does make a small lead. Jason gives this one up straight away. So, things there a little better Hi, uh, for Jean Noel. Jason's at a topsy turvy final table. And then the 2.7k started off really well, managed to get up to 5 million pretty early. Oh, and wow. then, um, yeah, didn't go so well after that for a while. Grinded a less than 20 big blind stack for. Good four or five hours yesterday and then bust around 115th, I think, just before the money. Oh, so. no good so far. No. But look at this, though. Look at this. Jake raising to 400. John coming out with a really small three bet on the bottom of pocket eights. Only 500,000 more for Jake. Good yeah. price to call. It's interesting because some of the hands are the, in fact, the only hands I've seen him raise with have been like the ace three, ace four kind of hands. Um, I think it, did he, have ace, he had like ace three of clubs earlier and he three bet. That's chase. right. Yeah, yeah. they're, they're the only kind of hands I've seen him raise. He acts very fast, doesn't he? Yeah. <laughs> He's fun. Yeah, he does act very fast. Mm. <laughs> when he starts thinking, he's definitely thinking. Uh, he's not just wasting time. I'll tell you later. Simil but yeah, so obviously a not a great start no. for the week. But we have main event plans. Yeah. Um, a, a companion for the week. Well, I've been, you know, sort of relying on the fact that some people are going to bust out the main early, but you don't want to yep. ask those people because they just want to get home That's, most of the time. I mean, it's. In, I don't know if you've seen any of the updates. I've been following the updates for the main as well, and it's crazy how many people have bust out of the of the first flight. Oh, I know somebody that busted out twice in the first 30 minutes. Well, here we have Stevie raising the button up with pocket oh, sixes. Jason's six ripped 30 big blinds in with threes. Well, it's it's going to be a real close spot for Stevie. It's, yeah, it's, it's 25k short. Surely expects short. Jason to three bet smaller with the with his nutted pairs, right? So this I is mean, right the, the knife thing edge. with these guys, I think, is that it's all very much he thinks that I think that right. he thinks. So I think he's also maybe capable of doing this with his bigger hands. It's 30 bigs. Yeah. He does call. Cool. 
I'm not actually, no. Oh, <laughs> King Jack wow. 10. He does pick up backdoor diamonds. Jason all smiles at the moment. Yeah, now we're wow. in the Wow. Nice. Split outs. King or a 10. Oh, 10 ball. He's not asking for the three. He's not greedy. Uh, and we'll take a split. Right, it looks game. like seven good on the river. Game. We'll good seal it, it for Jason. Hey, good game. Keep it up, man. Look at that. Well, always good nature, Jason. Yeah. One of the nicest guys on tour. Yes, yes. Jason, we didn't. Well, I certainly didn't see him rebuy. Maybe we were covering it. For if I lose these, there's some big names in the background. Exactly. Yeah, this main event. There is this day one. Yeah, I mean, there were some pretty sick tables, to be honest. Um, hey guys, here with Jason Kuhn, who's leaving us in fourth place. Uh, half a million dollars richer, though. Euros richer. <laughs> uh, well, I was in for two, so let's be real. 300k richer. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, it's a good run. It's a uh, much, much uh, better run than average. Of course, every time you come in a final table, your uh, illogical side is like, oh, we're going to win this. But yeah. that, that's just not the way it works. A uh, lot comes down to making hands and and you just don't play that many hands at a final table. So yeah. this was a really fun one. There were so many like really hardcore hands. People were really battling today, which sometimes the cards play out that way. Like uh, a guy like Chidwick, his, his bluffs are going to come from hands that he thinks are good to do it with. He's not just like deciding to run right. a crazy bluff. He's just a great player that uh, picks his bluffs by his cards. And the cards kind of were set up in a way today where a lot of people were running some pretty pretty fun bluffs. And sometimes these super high rollers get a, get a bad rap. People are like, oh, these guys are so tight and straightforward. Right, yeah. And in a lot of ways, you, you have to be protected and play tight because guys are so good, you can't just exploit them and start opening crappy cards. Um, but yeah, today was, was a lot of fun. There were some really intense hands and um, I really enjoyed it. Awesome. Well, it's so great to see you in, in good spirits and there's nothing like getting a hug from, you know, one of the NFL's best defensive linemen, like yeah. right after you bust. It's not every day Richard Seymour just comes and bear hugs you. <laughs> most most days he does hug oh, me. Okay. But but yeah, it's always nice to get another one. Well wonderful. Thanks so much, Jason. Here. Here's your my sack. Your sack right there. I'll That's uh, Jason Coon's girlfriend, the goat. All the goods are in the bag. All the healthy stuff. Yeah. Well, but best of luck to you moving forward in the main you. event. Thanks, yeah, Jason. Thanks. Back to you guys. And as we say, he's a he's one of these guys you see with athletes when they try their hand at poker. They get into it. They get into it because they, they want to be competitive. Yeah. They're not. They're not getting into it. Sometimes you see a lot of rich guys get in the game and they don't really care. They're just terrible. And they don't get any better. These guys. Because of their mindset, they they take the competitive side and they really just want to. Yeah. Yeah. It replaces the thing. Well, yeah. Because Jason's not a small guy. <laughs> Look at that size difference yeah. there. <laughs> Well, it looks like Jake has open tens. Jean the Wolf, three bets, ace, queen. Well, this could be very fast, three handed. These players now are guaranteed 726,000 euros. He will flat call. Heads up to the flop. He maybe feels he knows where Jean the Wolf is at a lot of the time post flop. Happy to see a board. Well, it's Jack 5 3. But he just comes out barreling and barrels so big. He just he makes it very difficult, doesn't he? You know, as you say, three million chip bet into 1.5. Into. I think that I think that's four and a half. I think that's the pre. Yeah, there you go. Okay. But still a big bet. <laughs> Jake's eyes came back to his head there. Like you say, the one thing you will see, you'll see is, you know, as you say, if he were to call the second barrel. Oh, he is cooling. As you see, there is over 10 million now in this pot, and they both have under nine behind. So you feel a second barrel might be for the lot. Oh. Wow. Well, Jean de World picks up a gut shot, but Jake with a set won't be going anywhere, and this could be it's curtains gonna, for the yeah. Frenchman. He moves all in. Yeah. Jake makes wow. the snap call, and okay. straight away we have an all in. Yeah, it would have been a different situation, but ace on the river, wow. Very, very unlucky, caught his ace, but a little bit too late. So Jean Noel left with just 700,000 chips. And Jake, close, back up to chip lead wow. again. Yeah, unlucky. Right. You're quite right. Yeah. Jake just ahead, yeah. couple of minutes ahead. I think he's one of those players that I think people just don't realize. Steve won't be folding King 10. May just flat here. Uh, he does want to isolate. Get Jake out of the pot. He's not pocket threes, really no. No. 
No, not pocket threes. I like pocket threes. Well, Jake does call. So John Elise is going to get maximum value if he does win this hand. Maybe a side pot between these other two. I want to see his reaction if he flops a queen. <laughs> well, that flop no good from Stephen yeah. way out in front with top pair. John reduced to just a queen as an out. Steve's just got a bet here, right? Yeah, it should just go um, bet fold. Jake, not even with a backdoor flush draw. No. Oh, wow. Did he check? Right, He's trying to induce. Sneaky. Does check behind. Turn a five. Again. Well, look at this. Steven picks up the nut flush draw. Or king eye flush draw, sorry, as well. Not that it matters much. But does reduce both these guys to just two outs each. I think he surely bets now. I'm going to say a small bet, 500,000. Queen on the river. And, yeah, Jean does need an off-suit queen or he will be eliminated in third place. Come on, Jean, you can do it. Queen. Uh, it is the nine of hearts. Stevie actually improves to a flush. And so as quick as that, we lose Jason in fourth and Jean Noel in third place. Fourth yesterday in the 50K. I can't exactly remember how much that was for. I think this gets them over a million on the week. Not too bad. Yeah, it was. Oh, it was 210,000 yesterday for fifth. So he's just short of the million. We have, yes. to, have to play another tournament then. On Friday. And there's a password protected tournament though. And luckily, I know the password. It's flexible. Log on to partyblogger.com, find that tournament, register, and be back on there Friday, 6 p.m. First prize in that, in fact, is a $530 ticket. Oh, so nice. Pretty top heavy, but yeah. you can definitely spin that into a package to come to one of these millions events and if you're going to choose one I'll, I'll go with the Caribbean I think that's the one yeah it's I mean I've been the last two years to the Caribbean I would definitely recommend it to anybody um, even if you only play one poker event while you're there when you put one poker tournament there's something to do every day the atmosphere is just incredible if you can imagine just one place that everybody that is staying in in that one hotel are poker players um, yeah, it's great. I think my favourite night usually is karaoke night. Um, <laughs> do you want to give us a little? Uh, I definitely do not. I, <laughs> I'm I'm a I'm a spectator at karaoke night, but it's. Um, I'm trying to think, I can remember there was. Uh, I can't think what Fedor sang. I want to think say that he sang like uh, Wonderwall or something. Um, that's, my, that's my only. It's your, it's your go-to, but it's always surprising. Some of these people can really, some of these players can really sing. Yeah, I can't. But everybody gets involved, and it's. Just such, it's such such good fun. Um, there's always so much to do, and I definitely 100% recommend it. And there's so many ways to win Saturn. There's so many ways to get in now as well. Well, meanwhile, in this heads-up match, Stevie has raised pre and Seabet the six high board. Jake did flop top pair. Turn is the jack of hearts. Stevie finally having a hand he can put Jake in a bit of a spot with. And Jake does make the call. I think it's the biggest pop heads up so far. Six it million is. chips in the middle. And Ooh, wow! wow. <laughs> what a river for the American. Oh, check, check. Snap, check, check. Wow. Oh. Very impressive snap check back there from Stevie. Those guys playing for a first prize of 385,000 euros. Two and a half thousand euro buy-in. Or 2,700, I believe. Yep. 525, so I can play that. Raising nice and friendly over here. <laughs> you want me to start making it 525? Play your own game. <laughs> <laughs> so many mind what games going on there. Looking at? What hands you had? They're not really secrets so. though. They're being broadcast to the world, so. They're definitely not secrets. Only good hands, man. Huh? Only good hands. You too. And he picks up a good hand. <laughs> it's funny listening to these double Yeah. Hands. Stevie obviously has been raising to 525. Jake's been making it 600. Stevie says, if you keep making 600, I'm not going to play. I want a bit of a discount to see some flops. 
And wow, what a flop for Jake. Ace, queen, queen. Flops three of a kind queens. Stevie, though, does still have outs with his pocket pair. Jake does check it over to Stevie. He will see bet with his sevens. Again, this kind of... Now we need a seven. This, <laughs> this is when, we, when it would be very interesting. Obviously, Stevie there... Not necessarily wanting to get caught, but protecting his equity against yeah. the cards, right? Oh, wow, my you God, called it. I can't believe it. You <laughs> did call it. Stevie <laughs> turns the full house. Jake still with three of a kind. Oh, my God. The first big clash we're going to see in this heads-up match. Just a question of how Jake wants to play his queen. Imagine with a three kicker, he's <laughs> probably going to go crazy. cool down. But Stevie now surely will, well, sizing on the turn one thing but size I mean, in the river would be big yeah like it's funny as well if they just had this chat about how you know oh you're not gonna be playing we're gonna make it out it's gonna be a long heads up match the chat may be slightly changing the dynamic he's here. Wow, he's like more than pot he's gone two million into a 1.5 wow. million chip pot i mean jake can only call now yeah jake unless of course the three comes on the river well, well, if you're calling for action, then action. I think we got it. I, I called for enough action, I think. Yeah, I you dug the seven out somewhere. Yeah, I don't know where I pulled that seven from. And well, Jake, take his time and we'll call with us three of a kind. Stevie now will be playing the American as a queen. Oh, oh well, that's wow. just going to kill yeah. it all. That is the absolute action killer. This will go check, check. I'm sure Steve will muck. Oh... That frustration. <laughs> Jake thinks it was a bad river for him. What's that? Unlucky river? I acted like you were maybe firing one more time. <gasps> he really thinks he was ahead. <laughs> oh, wow. We're going big. Real big? <laughs> I'd have to fold them. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. Wow, Stevie giving nothing away. Oh. And Stevie raising up 9 7. Jake defends ace 8 with a call. Well, 6 4, deuce, 2 hearts to flop. Stevie with only 9 high, but you can see a favourite against the ace high of Jake. And then this is a. This will be a little interesting spot, right, when Stevie bets Jake can't just fold all his ace highs. No. I think he'll, he'll at least call once. But oh, well, wow. <laughs> Stevie checked back that flush draw with two overs. Has now picked up an open and straight draw to go with it. Jake checking once more. What do you think? Time. Like a three on the river? <laughs> just because there's a straight on the board and obviously Stephen has a seven. Oh, eight. eight, of course, would give Jake top pair. Right. Talking of eight, that is the bet, 800,000. Sizable bet here by Stevie. Jake, you feel, has plenty of other hands he'd want to continue with here more than ace high but it looks like he is playing his ace high he is still ahead the river pairs the four I guess if he um, bet the flop bet the turn it's slightly different and he's going to get a fold where is now it's like, what hands does he... Surrender. Yeah. I surrender, he says. Yeah, it's like, what hands does he check back and then can bet bet with? Obviously, we can see with that hand, it's probably one of the hands Jake would fold. One of the worst hands he's going to check for the turn with. Yeah. Just a bet, ace high. Maybe even a little less than that. Maybe like 30 to 40. Once, I think maybe once somebody drops below the 40 mark. Stevie raises up deuce four. Jake calls dominating him with the king deuce of clubs. Yeah. And they both flop a pair here. Yeah. 
TV has a backdoor flusher to go with it. I feel like Minnesota has checked that hand back. <laughs> but he does it. He will bet his pair. Jake with a pretty easy call with top pair. These two certainly not the fastest players. No, definitely. <laughs> no, I, I think of all of the players, they're probably they both like to, to think. There's a lot of staring going on, isn't there? Yeah, I mean, I think they're gonna. Well, this is an interesting turn card. Neither player would like to see a five, but it is a heart giving CD flush draw. Yeah, I wonder if they're gonna wake up to when one or go to bed tonight, just picturing each other, <laughs> spend so much time staring at each other. <laughs> Just etched in the back of their minds. They have very different um, like stances as well. Steven's very posture upright. Jake's. Yeah, he's kind of like a poor man's Patrick Antonius. <laughs> oh, I don't know. He... Whereas Jake just looks a lot more chilled. And... and don't get me wrong, a poor man's Patrick Antonius is better than it, it almost anyone of a rich is, man. Yeah. That is a compliment to Stevie. No one insult. He does fire again with his pair and flush draw. Jake again, you feel just a pretty clear check call yeah. here. Oh. Still some worse. It's going to be interesting the hand when he turned the sevens, how he's betting when. I think when Jake obviously. Um, oh wow. <laughs> well, yeah, hair on the board doesn't does, really change anything. Doesn't change anything. It's yeah. a diamond. Both players looking to check that one down. Jake, Jake seems to always just have the better of him, but I think just the way that the betting went in the on the queen queen seven, that hand, when Jake sees it back, just to see how much he was over betting with his big. No, it can't be more than a few minutes away from uh, Jake finding out that Stevie had sevens four in that hand. What time was it? Did you? Make it was him just. Out? It was just around seven o'clock. Okay. But I haven't seen Jake looking at his phone, so maybe he's not getting any. No, Jake raising this one up. 7.50 from the button. Stevie. Well, here, here we go. Here we go. This is it. And this one won't get through. Be sure of that. 29. Of course, he will make the call. So our first three bet flop in this heads up match. Stevie out of position with the inferior 8-9. Jake with ace-10 on the button. 5.8 in the pot. And well, queen-3, 5-flop. Jake does have the ace of spades. But the queen certainly a, con a concern for Stevie, right? The kind of lot. Jake's more likely to have a queen He's than... He's definitely more likely to have a queen. Well, Stevie is reaching down, picking up chips. He's not done with this one yet. And bets a tiny bit. 1.6 into the 5.8 pot. And these guys love a quarter pot bet. And Jake will call with his ace high. Of course, that back door not flush draw. Pairs the three. It's a horrible feeling, isn't it? <laughs> You've been called for your three bet the I first know, time. You like, checks. you bet the flop, and your guy, the guy just calls you, and he's. He just had the best hand the whole game, yeah. and you're like, really, again? He does check, and Jake, you think, just obviously checks, checks back, back here, right? Yeah, definitely. And just beats all bluffs. And a king on the river. Of course, Stevie already made three fantastic bluffs during the final table. And he goes Colin. for pot. Oh, pot. Nine million is the bet. Full pot. Wow. And this is a huge decision, man. as we can see. If Jake were to call... And I guess, like, Stephen could also maybe do it with, a, like, a busted flush draw, but Jake has the ace of spades. All right. Of course, on the flip, you know, he has the ace of spades, so he does block a hand like ace-king as well. Yep. Working both ways. It is a full pot bet. It's very suspicious. Do they have time bank? They do have they time do. bank chips, yep. Yeah. He reset to six when they got to the final table. Oh, he's Jake will make the fold and a huge pot for Stevie. 
couldn't afford to lose that one have been left with just five million. Yeah, back to almost even again. Stevie okay. does flat this open. And an ace, three, eight flop. So Stevie Awkward flop. hand to play the 10 3, our position. A mixed bottom pair, uh, but you can see Jake there with two of us to that pair and a gut shot. So he's obviously going to bet this one, right? Stevie. It's about two thirds pot. I don't think Stevie's got much option except to call. Yeah. No back doors, but bottom pair. Heads up match, more than enough. Jake picks up a lot of outs with that card. Yeah, another, well, yeah, double gut shot now, right? And the flush draw as well as and, uh, two other cards. I, to think, the pair. I think Stevie will be hard pressed to, to uh, stand another barrel if Jake pulls the trigger. <laughs> They're constantly staring each other down. I mean, this hand, they've got no brainer decisions like folding. Yeah. Oh, Stevie does have to fold that time card. I feel like I hope the ones just choose the easiest name to pronounce. I'm sorry if that uh, makes things unfair. I feel like they try and wind up each night. Thankfully, I can just go back, get away with James Mitchell. I feel like a uh, not too tough a name for me. James. Well, what's the flop you're looking for here, Dempsey? <laughs> how about a uh, well, six, seven, nine? I think they're even too nitty to get in with bottom two. So how about yeah? Like, uh, well, well. Oh, seven, eight, deuce. We'll see some action. Yep. Jake flopping the middle pair. Staring down. I mean, a six on the turn. This would be uh, the best card Jake could see. Could see. Nine hundred the bet. Stevie with ten, eight. Of course, we saw him run a ridiculous bluff earlier in five handed play with 10 8 bet three bet in the river all in it's Jason Kuhn just calls with the top pair keep your opponent's plus in Mitch yep oh, oh. and it is a six <laughs> I call here we go we got Mitch in he can call cards I like it so Jake now takes the lead bottom two pair Stevie top pair locker to the straight gut oh shot this could be a big pot. It all depends on the sizing Jake goes with here, right? I mean, we know Steve is not folding to a bet. If Jake knew he had a hand as strong as top pair, he'd just bet huge here, wouldn't he? Go but as well, he's not 100% sure he's got the best hand. Right. I mean, he's probably 90, 90 odd percent sure. But uh, bottom, more middle, middle two pairs, still vulnerable hand, especially on this board where, you know, any card from. Fo 4, 5, 9, 10, we'll lead a one card straight. There's backdoor hearts. Comes a deuce. Stevie wins with just top pair 8. Yeah. Well, he has gone pretty big 2.8 to 3.5. And Stevie in the tank with his 8. And Stevie will make the call as we head to this river. Well, the river is a queen. Jake has the best hand. 9.1 million in the pot. Stevie will check it on over to the American once more. How much will Jake bet? Wow. And Jake checks this back. Can't quite work out why you check back that river. Unless he was suspicious of Stevie. 
Maybe thought he wouldn't call with a hand like an eight on that river. Seems very, very tight check back. Could always bet very small there. I'd love to know why Jake checked that back. Stevie probably can't believe his luck he's checked that back. May well have thought though he had the winning hand. Right. Steve on the button this time with the 5 6. Or 6 7 uh, was Jake's hand it's last time. Narrowed the gap a bit, only 20 bigs in it. Yeah, you feel this uh, even though he's behind, you know, it's one one big pot and he's got no one chip lead, right, Mitch? Yeah. It doesn't, doesn't matter too much being behind this stage of a heads up match when you're this deep. No, whoever wins the first all in is going to have a tremendous advantage. Yeah. King 9 4. See Jake. Pretty good flop for Jake. Middle pair. Queen of Diamonds. Stevie's going to fire. We've got three in a row. Four, Chuck's five, six. Million. Oh, no, sorry. Chuck's in the half millions. Yeah. Obviously, I haven't got too deep in these tournaments yet, Mitch. I'm learn the chip colours. Those reds are 500,000. I did actually uh, see some of those reds today. Is that, what, is that what enticed you into the pot? Um, I didn't have any in my stack, <laughs> but I did see some of the late entries were given um, one of those in their stack. Jake checks it again to Stevie. He's turned the gut shot. Will he continue to barrel? Uh, I personally would check back here, I think, and try and just hit the seven. Yeah. But Stevie. He's going for it. A better player than me, so. He's going big as well. Goes through a big barrel. Puts the pressure right on Jake. 3.2 into 2.5. Obviously, Jake check calls that flop with all his gut shots and flush draw, so. With this bet size, Steve would make him fold those hands, and of course he doesn't block any of them. The and it does put here. Jake to a tough decision. Yeah, obviously, even with a with a four, he'd be in a tough position. You can see with a nine, he's in a tough spot. But all those draws would have to fold, and Stevie would turn six high into a winner. But with a nine, just a bit too strong to be folding for this bet. Hey, Mitch, as these guys go to the river with nine million chips in the middle, and well, six of diamonds. Again, like Stevie won't think Jake has really any flushes that likely when he's check called that box size belt or well, over box size belt. No, it's right? possible, but unlikely. Yeah, I think the king X of diamonds, and the eight X of diamonds, I guess, would be candidates. Maybe a, or maybe with a gut, you know, yeah. you could have a low flush draw yeah. on the flop and turn um, some kind of straight draws. He doesn't block any of those cards, but he checks back. Jake will <laughs> win this one, and now for the first time, I think this is the biggest lead Jake will have had. Yeah. No man, Stevie again with the worst hand in the big blind. Jake with an ace on the button. Stevie defending. Yeah, will defend with his queen. Good flop for Jake. Yeah, well, Flops top, top pair with a gut shot. Back door, not flush draw. Stevie's got back door, queen, not flush draw. Of course, Jake will bet with that hand. Stevie there with this queen high, it doesn't. Well, he does decide to take one off. Throw well, back to a straight draw. Queen high could be good. Well, look at this. No. Jake makes the wheel. Jake's turned the wheel. If it were to come out of three, Stevie would make a higher straight. This has very few outs, only three outs. He's definitely had the run of the cards. Will Stevie get frustrated here? Turn his hand into it. Well. Yeah, he chooses his hand as a bluff. bluff. Right, he's got a six. It's always hard to try and uh, rep a three, though, <laughs> anytime you're playing in a raised pot. 
Of course, if we see if he does it here, it'll be disastrous. Jake has a three. And well, he doesn't have any good options. Eventually, he might have to do something. Yeah, he is getting relatively shorter as time goes by as well. This looks like disaster. As you said, he's going to make the bluff. And he's going big by the looks of things. 1.8 was the bet. Makes it 5.1. And that was it. I mean, goes without saying, doesn't it? Jake here, just cool. And uh, straight allow your opponent to continue bluffing. They probably can't believe his, his eyelids. Yeah, that, that he's tells you he's in love. <laughs> that, that's the, he's in love with the situation. I promise you that much. Stevie is making a big stand here. But timing way out of sync. The first time we've seen him check Razor Turn, as a bluff. And he's doing it into the wheel of Jake Schindler. And Jake will, of course... Schindler's made the call. He's letting uh, Stevie hang himself. And, I mean, if you look at this pot size now, Stevie, if he wishes to continue this bluff, will be all in for 9.5 million into the 13 million on the river. And, well... Seven of spades. Well, it is a scare card. If he was check raising on the turn with a right, it's kind of the card he has to keep bluffing draw. with, right? Because a lot of his bluff candidates are flush draws. So you feel this is kind of curtains for Stevie. Well, it might be a tough call for Jake. Well, it's also true, of course. Most of the bluffs are flush draws. So if he does shove, how would you call the three? See, or will Stevie give it up? I mean, he could always, Jake could be thinking if he shoves as well, it could oh. just be a chop. Well, he does move all in. And, well, Jake has a decision to make. If he calls, it will be all over. It's the old <laughs> Scotty Oh, it's all over, baby. <laughs> Jake, though, with a straight. I mean, you can't expect Stevie to be just going crazy here with this. Oh, he's going to call, I think. He throws Where's the, the call? call in. Wow. He throws the call in. Stevie Great turns call. over the complete nothing hand. Jake that, has a straight. And that's your lot. That is the end of it. As quickly as that, it didn't like this pot could ever develop into something, Mitch, but... Well done to Jake. Played well. Tough for Stevie there. It was against the run of the cards. And there is your champion. 1.75 million euros richer. That is the... Second biggest prize we've awarded so far this week. But Jake Schindler, your winner, is our biggest cash winner so far. 1.75 million there and all smiles now. I well see done. some smiling. A lot of times you see these high rollers, the guys win and they look like, oh, it was a long day at the office. It's hard work to pay out the shareholders. <laughs> we got a great question for you. What does this win <laughs> mean to you? Uh, it means a lot. I mean, it's a ton of money for first, 1.75 million. I ran really hot. Uh, I was card racking really hard. I think I made a few pretty good decisions here and there that picked me up some big pots. But yeah, I mean, I backdoored quads against like Ace King. I mean, it was it was absurd what was going on out there. So I, I ran really hot. I think I played mostly well. There were a couple hands I would have played differently, but yeah, I'm, I'm content overall. Yeah, it was, it was pretty grueling. I mean, I think he approaches every spot really well, and uh, yeah, he just doesn't give much away. He's He's really tough. Yeah, they've they've been uh, highly competitive and, and draining for sure. Yeah, a lot of really good players.